Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another Chart Nerd TA video. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests to keep diving into Dome, um, Everdome, the metaverse project. Now, a lot of people at the moment are very, very fearful because um, Dome has gone into some sort of free fall. You know, it lost this. Its last area of support to hold was, you know, this low back here, this, this red wick here, which was back in February 2022. And, you know, you can see that from losing that level of support there, look, we had support. Okay, we came down to its support, got rejected by the EMAs, okay, and basically capitulated. And ever since then, you know, you've been stuck under this this 20 yellow EMA here. You can see, look, you came up to approach it, got rejected again, and then you've been in free fall since. Now, right now, it does look like, you know, we've had a few days down at this low here that we're holding, okay? So I'm going to see if we've got any sort of potential to run back up um, into this daily 20 here, um, okay, which would tie up with this sort of level of resistance here. Okay, so you know, we could see ourselves if we hold this current low, run back up into this sort of level of resistance. Now, what I'm going to show you is why that might be feasible here. Okay, um, is if we go straight off this low uh, where we're holding, so we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, we've had a week of holding this low. Okay, so I'm going to get a fib on from that low, and we're currently retracing up to this high. Okay, so what, what happened is we had this high here, got rejected, we came back and we created this high here and have been rejected since. Okay, so now we're trying to bounce back up to this high. Okay, this is the high we're retracing to. So looking at this fib here, okay, let me just get that off. Looking at this fib, if we hold this low here, we could be in a, a, a percentage move of around about 30 to 49%, I think it is for Dome. Okay, if we manage to hold. Now, why I think that is, is because, again, if we look at this um, previous support that we had here, okay, where we bounced and, and lost it, okay, we lost it here. You can see now we're coming back. We could be coming back up to retest previous support as resistance, okay, and that would tie up with the, zeros, uh, the 050, which is ideally the areas that you tend to get rejected on, the 050 and the 0618, these sort of areas here. So if we do manage to hold, um, and sort of get a bounce back up here okay that is my target of resistance I'm looking for first you've got to get above the 0236 okay and equally the 0382 now the 0382 might be a bit of a problem here because what you can see is we've got this daily 20 EMA which is what we're stuck under falling right to that level so even getting a push up to that you could see rejection and a rollover but fear not because if, if we do what you could be creating is some sort of double bottom pattern okay if we come up to the 20 get rejected again and hold this low for me that's a bullish a bullish mark okay it's a bullish statement um what you can also see here is the rsi is extremely oversold okay so since we, we've never been this low in the rsi from june even in june when we had this nasty capitulation down this wick here we wasn't as low as we are now in the rsi guys okay so that is one good indicator for us when you're near, when you are this oversold you do tend to get some sort of relief now, I'm not saying that Dome's going to come up here and this is where it's going to get out of the woods, okay? I'm not saying that because we've been in free fall for ages. And as you can see, zooming out, you know, such an impulsive move up at the, the, the introduction of this project. You know, you, from the crash, you're bound to get retracement back down to the lows of where you sort of came from. Okay, so that is still on the cards here for Dome. Unfortunately, you could be retracing to the near start of this project. Okay, and, and you know, that would shake, I think, a lot of, near enough everybody out of this project. But again, looking at the daily, as I've said, we've never been this oversold on the RSI. We've never been this oversold. Never been this oversold. Okay, so that to me is showing some sort of hope still here for this project. You know, as I've said, I've said to a lot of people, I'm quite knees deep in Dome. I believe in the project. You know, it's taking a while to develop. There's a lot of, there's, there's no hype around Metaverse at the moment. In fact, a lot of people are calling it scam and they don't think it's going to last very long. <clears throat> you know, people thought the same of NFTs in the first six months it came out, but NFTs are still thriving even in, in, in downtimes like this, okay? You know, and NFTs, I do believe, are massive parts of the metaverse and they all contribute together. So, in my opinion, there will be a low at some point. Um, it's very hard to, to figure out if this is the bottom here or if we are going to come up into resistance. As I said, you know, we could have a 50% pump up to the 050 here and then start to come down again and lose this low. It's all about holding this current low guys okay so i just wanted to get a quick update today we've been hanging around this area for a week now okay let me zoom into it a bit more we've been hanging around and holding 0 0.00397 for seven days if we continue to hold okay hold support don't go short okay lose support 
go short, okay? But if you're holding, don't short. You know, here could be a, a, a potential long up to at least the daily 20 EMA, which we keep getting rejected by. You can see here, we keep getting rejected by that daily 20. So we could be in a long position here, up around minimum 35% in my eyes, okay? But at that point, you know, if you are investing now, I might it might be a good idea to take some profits off the table and watch out for a retracement back to this low. It's all about if this low holds. So final outlook, guys, okay? My final outlook. Right now, holding support, don't go short. Looking for a rally up to the 0382 at a minimum, okay? Which sits at 0 0.0562, 0 0.00, sorry. Which would be a 35% impulsive move. If we break that and hold that, my next target is the 050, which is that 50% move I was talking about earlier, which ties up with this previous support, which we could turn into resistance back here in um, late June 2022. So, guys, that's my final outlook. We could be looking at a retracement potentially up to the 050 or at least up to this daily 20. At that point, I'd be taking some profits off the table, looking for, a, for another low, and hopefully we hold this low. Because if, if that does happen, guys, if we do... If we do hold this low here for dome, okay, if, if this is the low, we come up, okay, get rejected somewhere and come back and form a higher low or hold this low, okay, this is starting our bottom, our bottom and out structure, okay, and hopefully we come into some sort of ascending triangle, you know, coil up between the EMAs and, and get a breakout back up to retesting, you know, wherever this 55 is, because that would be the next area for me to, to test this red line here, okay, in which we haven't done, you know, we haven't tested the 55 since back in May, okay, so it's been a solid, you know, a solid however many days where we are now, a solid 77 days where we haven't retested the 50, the daily 50 EMA, so, you know, hopefully that is the case, but right now I'm looking for a naughty little long because we're holding support of around 35 to 50%, at that point, if I do buy today or whenever, in the next couple of days, if it continues to hold, I'm going to short back to this low, and it's all about holding this low, if we hold this low, great, we start forming bottom in structure, if we lose this low right here, Okay, and hit our head on resistance. Unfortunately, you're going to be retracing back down to again where I said where the project started. Okay, because we have to appreciate that Everdome had a whopping eight thousand six hundred percent move on its inception within a within a few days, within a week, a week and a half. You know, so there still is potential for more downside. But as I said, guys, hold the low, don't go short. Look for a retracement back up to the twenty at a minimum. And then short, okay? And look to hold this low. Not financial advice, but if we start holding this low and start forming out some bottom structure here, this could be really good where we could start to see these EMAs curl up and we could start to once again get back above them. And that is when you start to make your moves back up again, guys, okay? But that's a quick update today on Everdome. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I'm sorry the videos are quite short. Um, and guys, don't lose faith. Don't don't lose faith. Don't sell to the to, to the weak hand. Don't, don't be a weak hand. Don't sell. You know, in, in my eyes, I think this is a great project. It's got great potential. And, you know, this all this here is just what the rest of the market's been doing. Okay? It had an insane move up. What goes up must come down, guys. Okay? It must come down. Think about the project. Okay? Think about the project and what it offers to the table in regards to the metaverse. Okay? Not financial advice, guys. Take care. Until next time, from Chartner TA. Peace out.